Students and welcome back to the class. On today's top topic, we are going to be talking about the feeding mechanism. What exactly is the feeding mechanism? We can say that the feeding mechanism is the process by which different organisms obtains and utilizes the food substances or food particles. Various organisms obtain food particles in different means. For example, the process by which human being obtains the food particles differs from tapeworm, it also differs from the bed, it also differs from various organisms. As clearly stated, various organisms have different mechanisms to which they obtain their food. These mechanisms are being divided into several processes, such as absorbing mechanisms. We also have organisms that exhibit biting and chewing. We have the sucking mechanism. We have the grinding mechanism. And we have the trapping and absorbing mechanism. Number one on the list is the absorbing mechanism. The absorbing mechanism is mostly related to organisms such as the tapeworm. The tapeworm is an endoparasite that lives in the host. The tapeworm feeds from the digestive food of the host. Now, the tapeworm does not have a distinct and well-defined alimentary tract. Hence, by absorbing the nutrient from the host, the tapeworm tends to feed. The tapeworm tends to carry out its own digestive processes. Number two here is the biting and the chewing mechanism. Examples of animals that exhibit these biting and chewing mechanisms include the grasshopper or the cockroach. They both have mouth parts adapted for biting and chewing. So these parts include the lambium, which is the upper lips, the mandibles, the maxilla, and the labium, which is also the lower lips. The third mechanism of feeding is the sucking mechanism. There are three popular organisms which exhibit the sucking mechanism. These organisms are the mosquito, the butterfly, and the housefly. These organisms have different modifications in their mouth that helps them in feeding. Number four is the grinding mechanism. Grinding mechanism is common among organisms such as man, goat, sheep, lion, etc. These animals are capable of grinding food before swallowing the food. The grinding of the food is aided by, by the presence of hard and strong teeth made of the enamel and the dectin. The animals are adapted for this mechanism through the presence of the premolars, the incisors, and every part of the teeth that enables them to carry out the process of grinding. The next mechanism of feeding is the trapping and the absorbing mechanism. This is basically common among insectivorous and carnivorous plants such as the bladderwort and the sundew. The bladderwort and the sundew have the structures that enable them to trap other organisms that come closer to them and thereby absorbing the entire nutrients in those organisms. Now students, we have been able to go through the various mechanisms of feeding. And we said that the mechanism of feeding simply means the process or the method through which any organism tends to obtain its own food and utilize the food. And we talked about number one in the list is the absorbing mechanism, where we talk about the endoparasite such as the tapeworm. We also discuss the biting and the chewing mechanism, this which is predominantly around organisms such as the cockroach. We also talk about the sucking mechanism, which is predominantly in organisms such as the mosquito. And we have the grinding mechanism, which man, goat, and other higher invertebrates possess this form of feeding. Then we have the last part, which is the trapping and the absorbing mechanism. Do well to refer to the notes in the video and jot some things down. You can as well go back to the videos and also attempt the evaluation question. Thank you and let's continue learning. Thank you.